Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome to the final day of Cards Every Day in April. Day 30, if you stuck with me this long, thank you guys for that. Now the cards we're looking at today are the Pokemon Futsal Collection, or the On The Ball Collection, whichever you want to call them. Now these five cards were made in conjunction with the Euro 2020 football tournament and feature Pokemon wearing the England match strip. So we have Pikachu, Eevee, Grookey, Scorbunny and Sobble. So four of these cards, Eevee, Grookey, Scorbunny and Sobble were all given away at the UK store game where you could get them for spending £15 in one go. Now, initially, these were all supposed to be released towards the end of 2020, um, following on from the tournament, but as I'm sure a lot of you know, the tournament was delayed by a year due to COVID-19, and it did have some impact on these cards as well. So, Eevee was released in September of 2020 at game, as it was supposed to be, and then Grookey was released in October of 2020, so no effect on those two. However, Scorbunny and Sobble, which should have been the November and December promos, were delayed quite a bit. Scorbunny didn't come out until June of 2021, and Sobble didn't come out until September of 2021, so a full year after the Eevee was released. And then we have the Pikachu. So, the only way you could get the Pikachu was by registering a team for the Youth Futsal League, and teams would be selected and certain teams would receive bundles of these Pikachu cards. Now, of course, when this was first announced, it was immediately assumed that these cards were going to be like gold dust, that getting one of these Pikachu would be near impossible. Which makes sense if you think about it. They were only going to be released in the UK, which is a tiny part of the Pokemon market. They were only going to be given out to a very limited number of teams, and they were all going to be given to small children, supposedly, um, meaning that it was a lot harder for them to hit the secondary market. As I'm sure you do now know, that isn't really the truth, and these Pikachu were released in much, much greater numbers than we initially assumed they would be, and they've been coming in multiple waves, so there may even still be more coming soon. The Eevee, Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble, the value of them never really went too much above the £15 you'd have to spend in-game to get them. Obviously, if you're outside of the UK, like I am, you had to spend a little bit more just to get someone to go out of their way to get one and ship it to you, but it wasn't too much trouble. When the very first few Pikachu started hitting eBay, I, the first couple went for a few thousand dollars, because, like I said, people just assumed this card would be so rare. The prices did just keep falling, and a couple of months ago, they hit a point where I was okay buying, so I purchased this PSA 8 for myself, and I purchased an ungraded copy for Laura. Then, as I'm sure a lot of you know, in March, another huge boatload were given out. Suddenly, they just started popping up everywhere. All of the UK Facebook groups were flooded with them. It seemed as though so many more coaches had been given huge amounts, like not just enough to give out to the children, but loads extra as well, so so many were hitting the market. As of filming this right now, I think it's at the point where a PSA 10 of the Pikachu is going for around $100 more than I paid for this 8. Which stings a bit, but, you know, if I was happy to pay the price at the time when I bought them, then I'll stay happy at that price. I may make a bit of a longer video on this in the future, just talking about uh, the price of the Pikachu and holding out and stuff. Maybe I can blame Pokemon, because if they'd announced Worlds just a couple of weeks earlier, then we'd have spent all of our money on booking Worlds, and I wouldn't have had the money to buy the really expensive Pikachus, and I could have bought them when they dropped to about £90. But as is, I got them, and we're going to Worlds, so it's worked out okay. This is a set that I would have been gutted if I wasn't able to pick up and complete, just because this is the first time in Pokemon's history that I can think of, and probably the last time ever, that a set of cards will be tied so closely to England. You know, we have lots of locations in Japan and the occasional location in America popping up on cards, but I don't think we're going to be seeing a lot of England cards anytime soon, with the possible exception of whatever the Worlds promo is this year when we go to London for Worlds. But that will be it. So that's it. We're done. Cards Every Day in April is over. It may come back next year. Um, undecided on that as of yet. We'll see how things go. But I have enjoyed doing it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching the videos along with me. And hopefully you will continue to enjoy whatever it is I put out next month and going on. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>